And now the winter uh, is well and truly hit and it's cold outside, this is the perfect dish for dinner. We've got beautiful lamb shanks here, we're going to cook it in lots of wine and herbs and vegetables and we're going to make a fantastic creamy polenta and I've got a few tips to make the best polenta you've ever tasted. But first of all, we need to brown our lamb shanks. So I'm going to cook it all in this pot. So just get some oil hot, take our lamb shanks, so you've got a beautiful piece of meat down here and then you've got a bone running down. So once we cook it on the bone, it just keeps the meat nice and tender. So it's a great slow braised cut. It's just going to season it light with some salt and then pop it in a hot pan so you can hear that sizzle. And you just want to get a really good colour because that's going to develop lots of flavour. So keep, keep tossing it around. And then I'm going to chop the vegetables up and once we've got a nice colour on the shanks we can take them out and then we'll start browning the vegetables and then we'll start adding everything a bit later. And then I'm going to show you the secret to that uh, polenta, creamy polenta. Here we are doing lamb shanks and I love lamb shanks, a Kiwi classic. So where are we at? How are we making these absolutely perfect, Mark? Right, so stage one is browning that shank. So if you have a look at that, we've got some great colour all the way around so you need to get like a good colour on it like this. And then in the same pot, we've just popped all the vegetables in. So if you have a look at that, we're starting to get some good colour on there as well. Right, what veggies have we put on there? So leeks, Got carrots. some leeks, celery, onions, um, carrots. And then uh, some rosemary. Brilliant combination with lamb. Rosemary in there, some bay leaves and a bit of garlic. That goes in now. Right. This is the same pot we've browned our lamb shank in to lock in all those flavours. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. So all in one pot. Saves on washing up and gives you extra flavour. Win-win. And then we've got a bit of tomato paste. Okay. So that's just going to go in now. And we're just going to roast that for a minute or two. Just get some extra flavour. It'll give us some acidity as well. Mm, nice. Right, okay. so as that's roasting, we've got, our, we've got the start of the polenta. What is polenta, by the way? <laughs> so it's, it's a grain. Right. The corn grain. Okay. So it's really fine. So if you have a look at it like oh, that. Yeah. And it cooks really fast, so it's, okay. really, it's really good. So in this pot, I've got some milk and some water. So I'm going to bring that to the boil. Right. And then, in fact, you're going to do this. OK, good. I'm going to bring that to the boil, and then you're just going to tip it in slowly and keep whisking, keep whisking, keep whisking. OK. Until it's cooked. OK, right, we'll wait for that to boil a little. Put on, yeah, she's on. Right, so we've got the, the tomato paste in here, so it's roasting. You can smell that sort of acidity coming off. Time to put the wine in. OK. Because it's a special recipe and we're judging it up, red wine and white wine. Oh, nice. Now, this Quite a bit a, of wine. Yeah, no, it's good. No, well, you need it, I guess. And I, last time I made lamb shanks, I just, mm, you're going to hate me, I used to pack it. Um, so, you know, I, mean, I know he hates it when I use pack it. So this is how you make it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So, and it's really simple, so there's no excuse for you to buy any packets anymore. You know, you should be learning stuff in the kitchen. Oh, I am, you? yep. You know, I, well, that's the good thing with you. I am saving. I'm learning. And I've just saved the milk, too, from boiling over, so... Yeah, lucky. <laughs> and just pour this in slowly? Yeah, so just sprinkle it in slowly, keep yep. whisking, and then as it heats and cooks, it'll start thickening. But you've got to keep whisking it all the time so we don't get any lumps. OK. So important thing with the wine now, in this pot, is we'll bring it up to the boil now. So we're just starting to burn all that alcohol off, but we're going to get all that flavour of the wine. And then once it's boiling, we're just going to put some stock in. So we've got some beef stock in here. Nice. This is, the smell is incredible. So we're using the polenta as our base, is that what we're doing, or our sauce? Yeah, no, this is the base. So it's, okay. it, it's almost uh, something different to doing creamy mash. I mean, it would be fantastic with creamy mash if you wanted to do that, but polenta is just a little bit different. Because you can get this nice and creamy as well. We're going to put some parmesan in there, we're going to put some butter in there. You can put any flavours you want, put some herbs through there, put some truffle oil on. Whatever you like at home. OK, now I have got this getting pretty thick. How thick do we want it? So we just want to make sure you cook it out. So you just want to keep tasting it. So depending on what polenta you do, it's going to take different times to cook. Mm. So it's almost like so it's quite fine, so it's cooking really fast. OK, so just keep stirring? Yep, keep stirring it. OK. I'm going to season it a little bit now. Oh, she's really starting to thicken up now. That's it. Woo! She's this hot quite... work in the kitchen today! <laughs> It's Friday, I shouldn't be working this hard. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is the hardest part of this recipe. That's why Mike's doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so, just going to cook it a little bit more so it thickens. Yep, it's really starting. And then we can add a little bit of butter. Right. So, that'll give it a nice richness. Oh, yeah, and it's looking nice and glossy. Too. There you go. And that will just give it, give it an extra sort of smoothness. And then we've got some parmesan which we've just grated. Okay, chuck her in there. And then we're just going to chuck that in. We'll turn the heat down now. Okay. 
I'm starting to build up a sweat. <laughs> OK, Let's so... Just let that melt in. I've never had polenta before, so... This is going to be that's, really exciting. That's the polenta pretty much ready, actually. It's okay, good. Nice. So bring this back to the boil, put your shanks in, put the lid on, turn it down, cook it for about two hours nice and slow, and it'll just be, like, falling off the bone. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Nice work. OK, well, through the magic of telly, we will make that happen very soon. <laughs> we'll come back and we'll see the finished product. Thank you, Mel, because I'm exhausted. It's your turn. OK, now over to Mark in the Mastercraft kitchen. Right, so two hours later, the lamb is cooked. <laughs> We've just, uh, the magic of TV. We've just strained the sauce off and we're reducing that down with a little bit of rosemary. So you just get that beautiful hint of rosemary through the sauce. So you can see now it's glazing. It's beautiful. Just taste the sauce. I've got a little bit of balsamic vinegar as well, which is really nice just to put in, just to cut through that richness. So glaze your lamb shank. And then carefully, because it's really hot, Pop it on the plate. Mm. And a little bit more sauce over there. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Guys, want to try it? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, please. Are the All Blacks playing tomorrow night? Yes, they are. Good luck, by the way. Do we want to try this? Yes. Actually, we it's do. Been good to have while you're watching the All Blacks, oh, actually. Perfect. Perfect. Now, Mark, All you're actually food. away, aren't you? For yeah, a I'm on holiday now. So, and next week, you have got MasterChef winner Tim Reed filling in for me. Oh, we'll miss, we'll miss you, but it'll be nice to have him in at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss you, but it will be nice to have Tim in as well, but we will miss you. <laughs>